move on to round six, um, Keith, we've got another really tight uh, you know, uh, list of matches. Uh, first one is Maui versus Warrigal. Yeah, well, uh, Chris, uh, I'm on a roll. I got uh, three winners last week, which is what I'm the best I've done, I think. I'm still trailing the horse in the record, but uh, uh, Maui, Maui and Warrigal, well, apart from anything else, I'm sure Warrigal will be will appreciate going up there and playing on their new ground and the new facilities as we said last week. It's quite stunning. Um, interesting game. Maui, uh, Maui have got a winner on the board. They'll be looking to get another one and perhaps keep in touch with the buyer. Uh, important for Warrigal also. I, I don't know. I've seen uh, Maui once in the opening round. Yeah, yeah, not bad. It's it's pretty even. So I look as if they might be at the standout, but it's very hard to pick the other games. I would think Maui just that home ground. In fact, that Warrior hasn't played on this one before. <laughs> hasn't seen it. Uh, might might just be enough to, to help Maui out over the line. But uh, it will be a good game. Very competitive game. Yeah, I think it'll be a good game. And I I think Warren will probably get a shock when uh, they get up there because the facilities are first class. There's, I don't think there'd be many uh, facilities that are better in the you know in the country Victoria. So I'll, I'll tip Maui uh, probably more because of ladder positions. I know there's only one, but uh, I just think Maui has got a lot riding. Uh, but I do expect Warren will to crack the ice soon, and uh, but I. Maui on their new ground and how important it is for them to stay in touch, I just slightly favour them. Of course, uh, Dana, you might have a different view of it. Oh, look, uh, we're, we're a very determined group and um, like Keith said, uh, the atmosphere around the place and, the, and within the group is absolutely fantastic. Um, the, all the boys see a way forward, they see improvement within themselves, they see improvement within the group and George is, uh, has got everyone on the same page, it's just a matter of for us playing four quarters of footy and sticking to the basic processes that he wants us to and uh, hopefully we can uh, get across the line and this week is as good a week as any but we know that the opposition are uh, not going to be a, a push over for no. sure because they've got a lot to play for as well. It's on a great, it'll be on a great round so this, if the week it could be this week. Uh, we move on to uh, Tarabin versus Wontaggy. Yeah, very interesting game, this one at Tarelga. They're uh, starting to get it together and get their line up together with a few people coming back from injury. Uh, I suppose a noticeable thing with Tarelga this year is they haven't got that depth that they've had in the past when they do get injuries. Uh, five rounds in, how long since Tarelga haven't won a game in the reserves, so I, I wouldn't have a clue. I don't know if it's ever happened. Uh, but that perhaps says a little bit about the club. Uh, they're still a very competitive, hard at a footy team with a lot of good players there. One Thaggy, three wins on the trot. Uh, seen them once, you've seen them twice. Yeah, they're good, they play very hard footy. Uh, but that's starting to be uh, recognised throughout the league now as the way One Thaggy goes about it. But they have some very, very good talent in that side too. That's going to be a a really big game. I just have an inkling for Terrellgan on this one. I don't know why. Don't, uh, don't ask me to save my life on it either. But, uh, I just have a bit of a feeling that Terrellgan are starting to build. Okay, yeah, I, I favour Terrellgan because I believe they are a very good side and uh, they, are, they are getting it together. Paul's I've not seen either. either. So uh, I'm really not qualified to comment. All I, uh, I know is that. Uh, Terrell, uh, sorry, one thing, you're a very physical side. I know Terrell have lost a lot of players, um, which has probably thinned the ranks out and explains why their reserves are, are wingless. Um, I think you'd probably have to tip Terrell at home. Okay, the, the, the next one. Uh, on Sunday, Mafra versus Beating Star. Yeah, this is Mafra. They've lost two games at home already, uh, which hasn't happened you know, much in the last 10 years. Uh, still struggling with uh, with their injury list, but if you look at their reserve side, they've got you know, half a dozen players who have been senior premiership players in, in the last four or five years, three, four or five years. 
they're a bit of a mystery at the moment, Mavra. Uh, they've cost me in the tipping competition pretty solidly. Uh, Bean start, yeah, great start. Brought back to us last week in no uncertain terms. Um, yeah, I, I still have that feeling with, with Mavra, they're a very proud club. I mean, the guys who go out in their jumpers this week will be, uh, will be key to win. They do a lot of research on, on the opposition. They'll leave no stone unturned, and I actually expect uh, Mafra might just get there this week to keep uh, keep their finals hopes alive. If if they lose this week, they're starting to look into real trouble, not just defending their premiership, but actually making the five. Yeah, um, I think they'll make the five irregardless, but I, because it is a home game, I do expect uh, Mafra to win. Uh, what do you reckon, Horse? Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so well it is um, a hard one to tip. Well, I have seen Ben so and I was very impressed. Uh, and I made Adrian Bromwich uh, um, pretty much doing the same role yeah. that I'm doing up at Ben Star, um, and they're making a fresh start in this comp. I think that they'll, they'll push them, and I wouldn't say Ben Star wins out of the question, but I'm a bit along the lines with Keith. I think uh, Mafra might be a bit sore after last week as far as uh, not real happy about losing. So. Back. All right, then we, we have a night game, uh, Lee and Gatter versus Sale. At Lee and Gatter, night game, the South Gippsland miss comes in, anything can happen. You know, uh, Sale hasn't put a foot wrong. Lee and Gatter is probably very unlucky. Uh, they certainly are unlucky not to be sitting in second spot on the ladder with four wins. Yes. Um, and, you know, had a couple of games stolen from them. but. Then again, if you're good enough, you don't get them stolen from. Uh, I just think the conditions at, at Lee and Gatha uh, really bring them into the game in a, in a night match. They're, they're a very capable side, too, you have no worries about that. Uh, the conditions help. That's a big ground. If you get a cold night, a bit of mist and a bit of drizzle or something, it's an unpleasant place to be. So, sales ground is relatively small by comparison. So, that's a couple of things that. Favour Lee and Gatha, but Sales, sales line up as an experienced lineup, mature body players, yeah, they're, uh, they're on a mission to win the Premiership, and uh, I think they'll, they'll get over the line, but they won't get it easy, there's no, no question about that. Well, since I've tipped Sales will be unbeaten all week, obviously I've got to tip them to win this week against Lee and Gatha. Well, well, I'm actually going yeah, to, to uh, go with Lee and Gatha because. Um, Oh, they were just super against us. Yeah. And at home, obviously, uh, from what I'm told, they're, they're a bit different at home than what they are away. And uh, Sale are obviously a super side, so uh, I'm tipping a close game. And uh, well, if it is close, I'd expect uh, Lee and Gatha to maybe get over the line. No worries. And the final one here, we've got Drawing uh, Hosting Moor. Yeah, this is, this is a sort of round where you get tip five losers, I think. Uh, and again, this You've is... You've had a good go at that, actually. Yeah. Uh, again, this is uh, a really, a really tight game. Hell of a lot on, uh, on the line for both sides. They both had three wins, two losses. Whoever wins this week, yeah, get a bit of a good hold or position in the five. Whoever loses will probably go out of the five. Uh, makes life difficult. Um, yeah. They're both 1-3-2. Uh, haven't been overly impressive either. They've just managed to get over the line for those three wins. Um, cheers to a toss-up. Truant's home ground is perhaps an advantage. Um, but don't underestimate more. We saw them, saw them last weekend and uh, yeah. They, they never can, give they can put together a, uh, They can put together a pretty good line-up and uh, yeah. They're a capable side, so it's Drew and uh, I go for Drew and he had a one, uh, one and a heart and two a little bit of home ground advantage, but uh, again it's just a toss up. Yeah, they've both been hot and cold and uh, from what I've seen, uh, my personal opinion is I think Drew's best is slightly better than Morgan's best, but that's just a personal opinion, so I'll go for Drew and Morse. Um, 
Oh, I'd be favouring Drew and only because of uh, home ground advantage. Like, uh, I think this is a game that will be won in the midfield um, with uh, Matt Duncan and uh, more midfield, and obviously with uh, Andy and the Drew and guys. Uh, more appear to have a bit more depth in their midfield when we play them compared to Drew. But Drew and um, uh, they run right across the ground last week, and especially controlling the footing when things got tight is probably what over the line against us, um, so at Drew and, uh, but then again if uh, Moore can get it forward enough and Rip Lewis Vardy can uh, actually kick straight and pluck a few, well it, it could be very interesting, but uh, yeah, I think Drew might sneak home at home. Alright, well that's it, we've got, obviously got another really tight round coming up, uh, it's been a tipster's nightmare so far. But anyway, uh, but that's it for round six, and we'll be back next week for the preview of the interlude, which will find Gippsland hosting Central Murray. Thank you to all our listeners. Oh. <laughs> should have said watch it. Edit that. Say thank you to all our viewers. <laughs> 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 I should have said that. Can I edit that? Say so oh, thank you to all our viewers. <laughs>